Hello and welcome back, I'm the Malonso and in today's video we will have a look at the Iberia Connection update which is a free update for the Vive la France DLC which comes as part of the 140 update and is now playable in the open beta and yeah so this DLC is a preparation for the upcoming Iberia DLC I will show you real quick on the map so uh, as you can see we are in the south of France and now here Bordeaux and Toulouse uh, we're already in um, yeah in version 139 so they were already in the Vive la France DLC and also the yellow uh, road between those two cities now the one here below uh, going to Bayonne and Lac are new these are the two cities which are coming with this update and yeah this is kind of a preparation uh, so that once the Iberia DLC is released you can drive from France to Spain and yeah so this is a free update for all, everyone having the Vive la France DLC which basically brings you um, to the most part of uh, France and today we will be exploring one of those two cities and I would say uh, yeah let's get started and yeah if you uh, just were wondering why I have nothing uh, explored on the map I created a new profile to test the, um, the open beta and now I will have to figure out where the exit is here I think it's yeah it must be here now you will turn left and yeah this is the open beta for the Euro Truck Simulator um, the open beta is playable for everyone um, you can everyone can just uh, update our truck simulator to uh, the, this open beta version just by using your steam client and going to the beta feature and yeah then you will be able to test out the new uh, things one of them is this very connection but we also have the Germany reskin, so um, the, the, I think it's more or less the last part of that update, um, improving the, the base map, uh, so the map that has been in the Euro Truck Simulator since the initial release, and um, and yeah, I think it's more or less one of the final uh, stages improving that base map we will also have a look maybe in a video and uh, I think the biggest uh, change in this new version is the new light uh, light system um, I don't know exactly what it affects in general but I think everything with everything with uh, light starting by uh, now here the daylight the shadows um, also the headlights of the trucks, uh, all the lights in, uh, during the night, uh, the sky boxes, the weather. I think it uh, it's a pretty big update. I've also seen some uh, images in the fog, which I think um, were not possible before. Ooh. Okay, so I thought he was going to go straight. Uh, well, lucky there. Um, yeah, so that's basically the biggest part of this update and I think um, yeah we'll now be soon on the new highway I just I should have just seen that um, this track doesn't have a, a GPS so you can't actually see where we have to go um, that's basically because I have a triple screen 
and the UI element, as you know, is usually um, on the right uh, bottom part of the screen. And since I have a triple screen, that's on the other screen. So you can't see it, but I hope that's uh, okay for you. So we have around 150 kilometers left. Uh, that will be two hours, yeah, around two hours uh, driving time in game. So it won't be too long. So here we'll go right. Yeah, and uh, regarding the Iberia DLC, I don't know if there is a release date yet, but I think, or yeah, I guess there is a good chance that it will be released together with the 140 update. Um, but I, I don't know for sure. I guess it will be like that, but I don't know yet. They also announced um, what will be the next uh, update which uh, they are going now uh, back to Russia. Uh, Russia is already in the game, a little, little, little bit of Russia, um, which came with that, I think Baltic DLC is the name. Uh, yeah, it must be the Baltic DLC. And yeah, so that there is a little bit of Russia already in the game. And now they want to expand that area, but it, I, I, from what I've read, they're not going to implement full uh, all of Russia, but um, a piece of Russia. I think they, their goal is up to Saint Petersburg. Uh, I thought I read something. I don't know. They named the city, but I can't remember if it was Saint Petersburg or a different one because I think Saint Petersburg is already in the game. Uh, so we, uh, we can have a look because um, I do have the DLC so we can uh, check it out. Yeah, St. Petersburg is already in the game. So as you can see, this uh, is Russia here. Uh, yeah, up to here from that Weborg down to, yeah, this part here. And here Kaliningrad, I think that one belongs to Russia too. Um, yeah, so that's already in the game. but. Now they want to expand it a little bit more, and I guess it will be sized kind of like this, but yeah, put here on the other side, I guess. So or, uh, I guess it will have the, the size of a normal Euro Truck Simulator DLC. Um, yeah, that's the next DLC they're working on. They already released a few screenshots um, showing some details. And yeah, so pretty cool. Um, as always, these DLCs uh, look very great. A um, lot of, they put a lot of effort and with every DLC, um, yeah, the quality just gets better and better. They improve um, how the roads look. Uh, they add more uh, content like uh, more country specific stuff and uh, yeah so pretty cool so we'll see what's what will be coming there So now we completed a more or less half of the distance. So we have now 60 kilometers left.
also here is another um, the, one of those payment uh, stations I think the final one And yeah, now we are almost in Bayonne. I think we will take the next exit. Yeah, goes quite a uh, long way downhill here. Also, before the, that uh, payment uh, payment station was also going downhill, and yeah, now here we can already see uh, Bayonne, and here a river crossing here. Don't know uh, what river that is, and yeah, here we will take the exit so he will be able to continue once uh, the Iberia DLC is released I think that road will lead directly to Spain now so now we are seen to be on the next highway or kind of a city highway or so we will take again the exit to Bayonne oh, I hope that's how you pronounce it because uh, I'm not very good at fr uh, French so I hope that's uh, how you pronounce it and now here we will turn right at the roundabout That was now a little bit strange that the only signs pointing this way were um, signs pointing towards the highway uh, but this is also how you get to the city so that was a little bit strange actually so now here we'll take the exit So I have here you know, a little bit of lag uh, in the sections with with a lot of trees. I uh, didn't have this before. Maybe now we have more. Yeah, maybe with the lightning lighting system, there's something different. And here we see a pretty nice roundabout. <coughs> And now we should be finally in the city center. But this does also look pretty cool here. Um, the way to enter this parking lot and get out of the parking lot pretty cool yeah everything pretty detailed we will have to go here on the left but I would say uh, let's have a look here at the city first
So there's not that much to explore, to be honest. It's pretty small um, city. So basically, this is the, just the industry of the city. But um, even though we can see few uh, things, for example, never seen a gas station with people um, outside sitting there. So. Um, so we can't really go too far here, so there is already the end of the city, so or the map, uh, so I will go now here to the left and deliver our cargo. Now let's um, take the difficult one. Now let's see how I do because it has been a very long time since I have done this uh, because mostly I've been doing um, I've been driving with uh, big cargo. Uh, double trailers and heavy uh, and very long trailers where you can't park this way so well, seems to be working just fine wasn't too difficult so yeah and now we're done uh, I hope you liked the video I will do also video showing the other uh, the other city, um, which is new to the Eurotruck simulator, with this um, part of this connection, uh, the barrier connection. And yeah, hope you liked it. Um, subscribe for more and give a thumbs up if uh, you liked it. And then we we'll see us next time.